Okay, welcome back. Let's go ahead and talk about um, the different flavors of Creative Commons. Now, what Creative Commons is, is basically, again, it, is, it isn't a releasing of uh, one's rights as a content creator or copyright holder, but basically it's copyright at internet speeds, so that when you encounter media on the internet, if it's licensed with Creative Commons, you know immediately uh, how you might reuse the work um, without having to go through the process of contacting lawyers and making communications and playing phone tag. So um, here are the four different symbols for the Creative Commons um, uh, when it's uh, licensed work. is You have the little man, you have the equal sign, you have the dollar sign slashed out, and then you have the upside down, looks like an upside down C. So uh, the first one, the little man, basically, if you see this symbol, then that particular work uh, requires that you give attribution to where you got the work from um, so that, again, others can... Uh, it's basically kind of the buzz machine is that you obviously, um, if you are sharing a work on the internet and you have this particular symbol, then the expectation is, is that if this, this uh, it song, photograph, whatever, is being used, uh, being repurposed, then, uh, then you need to um, have an attribution as to where the piece came from. Then the, the next one that's most obvious is the non-commercial use, and so you have that little... Um, uh, arrow crossed out and so that if someone was to take uh, the work and reuse it um, then they could they could go ahead and, and uh, post it on a website for example uh, but what they could not do is put it into a book and then make and then sell the book uh, making it a commercial product if that were the case then the second user would need to go back to the um, person read, um, licensing under Creative Commons and get permission then it becomes very much like copyright all over again uh, because the person wants to use it in a way that the person's licensing licensing it under Creative Commons is not allowing for. The equal sign is uh, no derivative works so um, so basically if you have a no derivative works symbol on your work then you are allowing others to use the work but they can't change it so um, if it's a color photograph and it's being used by someone else, then it needs to stay as a color photograph. It can't be changed. And so that's the no derivative works symbol. The backwards or underline um, symbol is a share alike. And this is a very unique kind of internet sort of thing. Is The idea is that if I licensed it, Creative Commons, with this particular symbol, and um, now obviously uh, um, and and you go ahead and repurpose it and use it in your work then you can't turn around and sell the work or um, license the work in a way different from the way that you originally got it from me so if I give you a photograph allow you to use a photograph and you want to um, um, basically it's paying forward is the idea is how you got it is how you have to share it out and so if um, I said uh, non-commercial and uh, you want to make money on it then you obviously need to go then it reverts back to the um, uh, creative uh, reverts back to the copyright mode of doing things and so ultimately uh, you do not need to use all four symbols uh, you can use any um, assortment of symbols from attribution attribution no derivative works attribution uh, no derivative works, uh, non-commercial, attribution, non-commercial, attribution, non-commercial, share alike, and so forth and so on. Basically, um, having uh, 11 different combinations of how uh, Creative Commons could be used. And again, um, Creative Commons does carry the weight of law. Uh, the, the most famous case that I'm aware of is Adam Curry of uh, MTV fame um, had posted uh, images of his family on Flickr under Creative Commons and uh, under Creative Commons no commercial use and some of the uh, tabloid newspapers in uh, in the UK where he was living at the time decided to pull images from his Flickr account and use it on the, in a story that they were writing about his family and although he wanted to um, sue them as sleazebags uh, he couldn't sue them as sleazebags because it was within their rights to be sleazebags. But what he could do is sue them because they used the images in their magazine and then sold the magazine as a commercial product. And he had posted it as non-commercial use. And so they were sued and they had to pay reparations for the usage of those images. So 
um, here's a case where Creative Commons does um, express the idea that copyright, fair use, Creative Commons, this whole arena is a moving target. It's a variable kind of a thing. Uh, so we need to recognize these, the black and whites that we've been talking about in the previous um, episodes, um, but to try to take advantage and, and move in a direction that's constructive and is helpful for the usage of uh, media to the copyright holder and to the people trying to use the materials for new types of creation. Um, so again, it, it recognizes that there is this place in between traditional copyright, all rights restricted, and public domain where the content creator has no rights whatsoever. It's just out there in the public. Somewhere in the middle, Creative Commons is one of these sorts of solutions where we're trying to um, get uh, copyright recognition, but at internet speeds. I will talk to you later. Enjoy.